the struggles of a Nigerian living in Nigeria is that you may film your own YouTube today and when it is time for you to edit, maybe tomorrow, you are going to find out that one of the clips has too much background noise and you have to start to do a whole new voiceover. Because tell me why after recording myself this morning, this morning I'm going to the airport, I'm traveling out of Nigeria, why that particular morning? And now that I have to like edit my videos, I have to start a whole new voiceover, like why? Finally, I set out for the airport and guys, I've been panicking so much. I was like, oh, I don't want to miss my flight. And they were just trying to calm me down because I didn't sleep all night. I did this. I didn't blink my eyes at all. I didn't sleep all. I stayed all night like a child. You know when a child has a party to attend? Maybe the, the next day and how you'd be excited. That was how I was excited. I just kept checking my luggage kept checking everything my documents my passports i checked my passport up to 85 times when we were going called they asked me don't let me put this stuff inside your file i was like no let me hold it i've seen too many too many nollywood movies i bet so these are my siblings pushing the cards for me and um this is the checkpoint this is where my um luggage um were weighed and i would highly recommend the topian airline because they were strict with the um luggage and bags and everything but they were not very very strict so you can always use the topian airline because i used it and i can say for sure that they are good guys the airport was so crowded they were up to like a thousand of people there this is the immigration side and i was just being searched i kept removing my shoes over and over again you won't stop removing your shoes until you land in, at your final destination i bet you so i was just trying to find my way here guys before i traveled i used to think that oh since it's my first time traveling and i'll be traveling alone how would i figure it out how would i know my gate how would i know my stop how would i know where i'm going to go but let me assure you that it's pretty easy it's an airport here and it has directions everywhere so i found this very beautiful um african market they sell like african stuff for maybe internationals it's really nice though would i go there to shop no and i lost my way I, I, you know i said it before that it's pretty easy but it's not that easy like you think and i asked somebody something about me is that i would always ask questions and i think you should ask questions so the man i told the man i was going to canada the man said ah that place you are going is not canada it's costa rica i was like hey costa rica okay that's how i turned back one i finally found my gate not until i saw welcome to nigeria again i was like ah welcome to nigeria okay are you guys playing with me please though i cannot come i cannot come this far just come and say welcome to nigeria again this woman my friend she looked back and then she smiled i think she must have heard, heard me guys this very cute bobo if there's anyone that knows him kindly reach out to me this guy was very nice he borrowed me his cord because like my i took the type c yes if you're using type c just make sure you take us because like this woman's own because you might have to charge your phone inside the plane but the guy helped me Sha. he said he was going to vancouver but i didn't ask for his name and if there's anyone that knows him kindly tell me this is the first class this first class is very good like i i envy them for a minute because they have literally everything even the leg room is like wide and big enough but at the same time economy too is not bad though economy is a three seat and sometimes i think the first class is it is that i'm not sure economy as a three sitter if the person next to you doesn't want to talk to you you can always turn to the person that is next to the person next to you the person will talk to you on like the first class you don't have choice if the person don't, doesn't want to talk to you, you don't have choice so, so i was just trying to look for my seat number and i i, I cannot remember but it was in my body pass but i had so much in my hands i was just checking up checking up finally i found it and the person said three said that the first person was already there the man is chinese he was nice i had a pretty nice experience on the plane i'm not even going to lie at all the man asked me if i needed help putting my bags up i was like yes i needed help and then he helped me me i was just praying that one more i hope this person sitting next to me doesn't come so that I'm, i can have enough space in case i want to sleep and everything like it can be free I took the window seat as you can see my flights my first two flights i took the window seat like window seat is the best you have like a good view um very nice view except when it is very sunny but you can like close the blind the only downside is if you like want to walk around you may be disturbing the person sitting at the extreme but it's better to disturb someone than being disturbed now. so yes i'm still standing that the window seat is the best see in fact just travel sit down anywhere the goal is to travel is it not after all the ad girl i started being teary because i know i'm going to miss my family and my friends oh, oh, sorry 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 don't cry don't cry don't cry do it do it you do it don't worry don't worry aha don't worry do it aha Plan didn't work out all. Oh, the owner of the seat finally came. Look at her sitting next to me, and it was almost time for us to fly.
after 72 hours and 59 minutes, they finally started serving us food. And at this point, I swear, I was so hungry. I just like wanted to eat. They asked me if I wanted chicken or beef. Left to me, I'm going to pick turkey any day, any time. But in this situation, since there wasn't turkey, I just went with chicken. I got a tray, and in the tray, there was an appetizer, dessert, and main dish. I got snacks too. Guys, let me advise you, if you are going to be traveling, just make sure you get as many snacks as possible. Like me, I also got some snacks. Like, I did get some snacks, but I didn't get enough. I just remembered at the airport, so I didn't have so much time. So, this is the main dish, which is rice. I don't know what to call the other, what they serve the rice with, if it is stew sauce or vibes. I'm sure that it's just chicken, um, it's just rice and vibes, because this is like stock. It's just like when you make chicken stock, since they gave me chicken, they gave me chicken stew to them, but it is, it is like chicken broth. And it's just like chicken broth with vibes. There wasn't even pepper inside. It wasn't even like very, very seasoned. It's just like chicken chunks and rice. I didn't really like the food though. This is me trying to eat, eat it and like rate it. This food doesn't have pepper. If I had eaten this food after I took the first bite, if I had continued, my ancestors would be very, very pissed at me. And they'll be angry because why would you take so much food? As a Yoruba babe, why would you take more than one spoon of this food that doesn't have pepper? And yeah, I was fooling myself. I put the pepper thinking that it was going to change. Guess what? You guys know now. It didn't change shit. I just had, I just had to like scrape the stock, the broth or whatever it was. I scraped it the way and then I just ate the raw rice. It was too early and at first I didn't want to sleep because it was too early into the flight. When I finished eating, I thought I was going to see a movie or something, but I was too tired, man. I just started to like sleep, used my shades, plugged in my earpods and just went. Let me go, there's no doubt Gotta get out of this small town You took my heart from me Now you're everywhere I see Set me free, let me fly Let me find new kinds of highs We're just wasting here Waiting for another year We both know the score We've been here once before So many words unspoken You took my heart is already broken You don't have to wait I can take the pain I will surrender Let me go On a new adventure
and I don't know where to go to. I don't even know my gate. I'm just seeing gates here. Okay, let me check. There's somewhere here, I think. Yeah, for the international departures. Okay. So, so when I was trying to like locate my gate, I made a very terrible mistake. I knew I was traveling to Toronto here, yeah, but I was supposed to check for Dublin first since my next stopover was Dublin. I didn't figure that out. stop which is Toronto not like we stopped or we dropped or anything we didn't transfer we just stayed there I think the plane was refueling at Dublin so that's it and I would like to discuss something I really wish I knew all these things before because before I traveled I watched a lot of YouTube videos and no one ever discussed this if you are traveling and you have any colognes um body spray body moisturizer or perfumes or soap don't keep them in your carry-on keep everything and let everything go into your checked in bags because if you leave them in your carry-on bag they are going to trash it like that's facts they are going to like trash this thing because they trashed mine right to my front and i could not cry i had to like start buying them this was something that i brought like a lot of them because i felt like i wanted it to last for a very long time but they trashed it so if you are traveling just don't make that mistake i know some people might have known this because i told my friends and they're like yes they know it but i didn't know this and then i i wish i had known this earlier I've been hearing symphonies Before all I heard was silence A rhapsody for you and me And every melody is timeless Life was stringing me along Then you came and you cut me loose Was solo singing on my own Now I can't find a key without you. And now your song is on repeat And I'm dancing on to your heartbeat And when you're gone, I feel incomplete So if you want the truth I just wanna be part of your symphony We hold me tight and I let go Symphony Like a love song 
On a new adventure On a new adventure On a new adventure Cold. So he's coming to pick me up. From here, I'm going to an apartment. 
I don't have an apartment yet, but my sister has made arrangements for me. She's not in Winnipeg, she's in Saskatchewan. So she was the one that helped, like, she made it really stress-free and it's free shit for me. It was very easy. So, like, she has made arrangements for me and her friend is coming to pick me up at the airport. Guys, this is, like, 4 o'clock. I should have been here since 11. Well, you know I missed my flight from... Um, Toronto to Winnipeg. I missed the Ethiopian airline, then I had to go for a Canada. So let's wait till it's here. I'm here to take any picture. I hope I don't forget. Something sweet to put on my head, that's right 